Hi, I'm Kelly Pickerel, Associate Editor of Solar Power World Magazine, and today we're at Silfab Solar, and we're talking with Jeff Atkins about the company. Thank you, Kelly. Welcome to Silfab Solar. You're located just outside of Toronto, Canada. We are a premium manufacturer of high-efficiency 72 and 60-cell solar modules. We happen to be standing in front of our 60-cell black-on-black solar module right now, and we're about to go down to our factory floor and learn a little bit more about what makes a good, better, and best Silfab solar module. All right, Kelly, so the first part of the process after we bring the raw materials into the Silfab factory is that we start with our glass. When we put our glass into a glasses cleaning machine to take off any of the contaminants that it might have picked up while it was traveling. Our glass comes from overseas, so we want to make sure we wash off anything before we start to lay up the module. Are you just using water to clean it, uh, or is it we a... We use a chemical solution, chemical? That's a, and then a quick drying. It's a little bit like taking your car through a car wash. It's a chemical solution, it's rinsed, and then it's air dried. And then as you can see, the glass that we use is not a completely clear glass. We actually use a prism glass. That prism glass allows us to reflect more light onto the cell, which ultimately should give us a little bit more power. Kelly, the great thing about a solar module is it's very simple. Once you've developed the cell, it's just simply glass, it's glue, and we use a sheet of glue, but it's no different than the glues that you would use in your own home, except it's in a solid format until we heat it up. Then we lay on the solar cells in a string, we lay on another piece of glue and a back sheet. But because it's glue, it is very, very sensitive um, qualities. And one of the important pieces in laying up a solar module is ensuring that your glue is maintained in a humidity controlled and heat controlled environment until it's being installed or placed into the solar module. So as you can see, we keep all of our EVA or glue wrapped up. It's held in a room that's humidity and heat controlled until it's being used in the solar module. So Kelly, obviously the, the workhorse or the core component of a solar module is the solar cell. And as we bring in solar cells, one of the things we want to ensure is that we want to make sure that every solar cell that we lay up in our module is of the same quality and of the same efficiency that were of each other module, each other cell. So what we do is we actually take a, a, a photo image of every cell before it's laid up into our module to determine if there's any imperfections or impurities within the cell. And as you can see on this one, there's a slight impurity on the edge which would impact its performance. So the robot actually rejects that cell and it's something that we use as data to determine when we're either buying cells from another supplier or when we change our line over to use that cell, we'll know what our defect rate is. So Kelly, after we make sure that every solar cell that goes into a string of a solar module is of equal quality. Now we need to make sure that all of those cells are connected together. Using a high quality ribbon is a critical part. It's like using, for, for us, it's like using a high power or high quality electrical cable when you're connecting something within your home or any other place. The higher quality material to use, obviously the better life you'll get out of it, and in some cases, the higher efficiency you'll achieve. So after we put together the cells into a string, we analyze the string to ensure that the ribbon and all of our connections are of equal distance and we've got the precision between the cells and between our ribbon. So we look at every single string and if the string doesn't meet the variances and quality that Silfab has set, then we reject that string, and we either rework it or discard it completely. So Kelly, at this point we've seen the glass, we've added our EVA or glue, we've gone and taken a look at our cells, and we've 
gotten rid of any cells that of course had any imperfections. We've laid them into a string. We've then soldered it in a busing station, which is all automated here at Silfab, so that we get equal solder and equal pressure on every one of our strings. The final component, after we add one more piece of glue, is to add a back sheet. The back sheet is a critical piece for ensuring that uh, we keep all the impurities out of the module and from reaching the cell. And as we know, these modules are to last 25, 30, 35 years. So this back sheet has to keep humidity and heat and any imperfections out of that module for up to 35 or 40 years. So we want to make sure we use a high quality back sheet and that that back sheet covers the entire area of the solar module so that we can make sure that the edges and every part of the cell is covered before we laminate the module and, and heat it up and bake everything together so that it's ready for our framing and our junction box. So Kelly, after the module is laid up, we run it through a laminator which bakes all the material together. And at this stage, we have a completed laminate or module that is all baked together. But one of the things you'll notice on our modules is we actually have the material bleed over the edge. Mm -hmm. And we have that so that the material is sealed in all four corners. That even if it wasn't laid on perfectly, that we can trim the edge and the edge will be a perfect seal. So at this stage, this is where we trim the excess material. And then we add a two-sided glue and tape around all the edges of the module to make sure that we seal everything within that module before taking it to the framing machine. The framing machine is all done under compression where we use, we use a robot to actually compress the frame together to ensure that we've got that frame in place for the, long, the life of the module. Not as exciting as uh, the layup or manufacturing of a solar module, but the packaging is just as important. And as you can see at Silfab, we do a north-south strapping, and then we do an east-west on the strapping, but we also do a cross strap to ensure that there's no movement on the pallet when it's being shipped. And we only ship within North America, but we take these extra precautions. We also use a beefed up corner to keep the pallet as stable as possible because when it arrives at the customer site, we want to ensure that there are no micro cracks or any compromising of the module during shipment. And we do our EL testing and all of our testing prior to shipment. So our customers have those images and know that the module left this facility in top quality and in perfect condition. What we want to ensure is it arrives at their site in top quality and perfect condition. Kelly, thank you for visiting Silfab Solar today. You've had a great chance to see how we manufacture a solar module. This is where it all ends. We bring our packaging right to the door. We put it on a truck. We can be anywhere in the US or anywhere in North America for that matter in two days. Uh, and then it gets on to our customers' roofs or whatever their project is. Um, if you want any other additional information, please go to silfab.ca, our website. Otherwise, thank you very much for coming. Yep, thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate it. And you can watch more videos like this at solarpowerworldonline.com.